Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide, where today we're here in Bourneville to come and visit Cadbury World. I cannot believe we haven't been to Cadbury World since 2016. That was seven years ago. It's crazy to think that last time we came here, we'd only known each other for three years, Charlotte. I know, we've been together 10 years now. Oh, crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, we thought we'd come down here because of course now it's operated by Merlin Entertainment, the company that owns Alton Towers, Chesterton, Thorpe Park, various other different attractions all throughout the UK and the world. So yeah, we thought we'd come down here and see what changes they've made and also as well um, just to kind of refresh our memory because it's been seven years i know there's a lot i don't remember so i'm looking forward to getting back inside yeah they've got a dark ride in here that's actually really good mm. that's still operating at the moment but it'll be interesting to see if any changes come to that and yeah just bring you all the latest updates from cabri world it's now included in the merlin annual pass as well uh, so it's not cost us anything to come down here obviously when we used to come it was, was it a special deal it on was tuesday? like purple tuesdays we used to come on so it was like two for one <laughs> yeah, so uh, of course it's included in the Merlin Pass now. Come and join us as we check it out. We've also got a couple of special guests with us today. And the building that you've just seen there behind us is the factory down here in Bourneville. And we're going to be heading into parts of that during our visit to Cadbury World. And of course, my parents are here with us today. Hello. Hey, how are you both? Yeah, great. Right. Thanks, yeah. Are you looking forward to your visit? Yes, it's the first time actually. Yeah, we haven't been here before. And you're being dressed for it, haven't you? Yeah, I'm dressed for Accidentally. it. Accidentally. Are you sure? Exactly, actually. Yeah, I didn't realize. Yeah, of course, purple's associated with Cadbury. And you got your purple on just there. Everywhere. I thought I'd get you in with the uh, purple lamppost there behind as well. It is a bit of a different shade purple though. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're going to make our way in shortly. Yeah, there's a sign just down here with some information as well. The South Coco Block. Yeah, the building that we can see just over there behind us. Yeah, we're going to make our way round. We've actually walked from Bourneville train station. It's only about a 10 minute walk, isn't it? It's pretty easy and it is signposted to get here as well. Yeah, they have got a car park though as well, haven't they? Yeah, but we came on the train because it's cheaper and it's easy to get into Birmingham that way. Yeah, I mean, we're doing the Christmas markets as well for our other channel, the Sandbrook Adventures. Yeah. So let's go and make our way round. And there's going to be lots of photo opportunities whilst we're making our way through Cadbury World. But here's mum and dad by the big sign just there. Hey. Yeah. Uh, you like a Freddo, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Quite funny with the purple, aren't you? <laughs> and yeah, here's a look at the car park just out the front of the main entrance. It is free to park if you are visiting Cadbury World. It's good that they do offer free parking, to be honest, because a lot of places you have to pay. Yeah, pretty good that is. And yeah, here's a look at the entrance itself. You've got the heroes and the roses that are spilling out over the entrance. Now, we've had a look on the website and we believe there's quite a lot of work going on, don't we? Yeah, there's a few bits closed because there's like improvements coming. So I don't mind them closing it if they're going to be bringing new stuff in. Yeah, I think it needed improvement from what we said. I mean, hence why we've not been for seven years. Last time, we weren't really that impressed with some aspects. We were a bit disappointed because they took like the production away and I felt like there just wasn't anything in its place. Yeah, like obviously a lot of the chocolate used to be made on show and that got took away, didn't it? Yeah, it kind of took away from it when we came the second time. It was like, oh, it's all gone now. Yeah, so hopefully they're going to bring a little bit of that kind of into it again. Of course, I don't think they're going to show us real chocolate production a lot of it again because a lot of it isn't really done here now. Hey, they bottle all wide on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it'd be interesting to see. Maybe they could kind of recreate that and show you what used to happen in parts of the factory here. You know, I'd love to see that. But so uh, yeah, we're going to make our way inside. Let's go. And we're filming this in November 2023. So the festive season's just around the corner. And yeah, look at the tree just here. This is quite nice. Not made of real chocolate. Imagine if it was. A bit expensive though, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, you got all the chocolates on there. There's a big cracker mm. up here. That's really nice, isn't it? All the chocolates coming out of the middle. That's pretty cool. It'd make a great gift. Here you've also got a cafe and also the big Cadbury shop. And we'll have a look in the shop at the end of our visit. Oh, it seems quite different for us seeing adverts for the Merlin Annual Pass here. Well, yeah, it is included. And we've booked our time slot online to come and visit. And you've also got this big Cadbury World sign that makes a really good photo opportunity down here in the entrance as well. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. And here's a map that shows the full experience. Like I say, some parts are closed today whilst they're working on refurbishments and new additions. We have the journey starts here. We make our way all the way through these different sections. We dive in to the chocolatey world. Let's go. Hey, Charlotte's happy over here. What you got? Oh, nice <laughs> there. Oh, I'm happy. Already. I've got a bag for already. Yeah, so you get three chocolate bars per person, which yeah. is pretty good. Right. Yeah. And you can buy the bag just there. That's a pound to buy the bags. Yeah, chocolate bars are free. Got dairy milk. Including? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Charlie's gone straight in. Caramel. Oh, yeah, lovely. That's all right. Well, let's go. Experience begins in the Aztec jungle. Kind of telling you the story about how all the beans are created and 
course, get the taste of that wonderful chocolate. Very well themed in here. So as you mentioned a couple of minutes ago outside, I think Merlin are going to be really kind of transforming it into more of an experience with some rides and other attractions. At least it seems that way anyway, with some of the plans that they've got for this in the future. So there's a lot of screens giving you information in here as well. The recipe for chocolate, and yeah, quite a few different interactives as well. How's that for you? Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Enjoying it's that. So creamy. Oh, lovely. Well, you're eating, aren't you? Oh, you're having your whisper as well. That's it. I'm being good, I am. I mean, just had a Greg, so. I'm going to have a caramel. Oh, I like a good caramel. I do, yeah. Some really good theming and set pieces all throughout here, as you can see. Got the big boat over there, some mannequins, and the nice water feature down there as well. And here's Mum, you've had a bar of chocolate, haven't you? I've just eaten a lovely bar of chocolate, yeah, <laughs> really nice. And you've had some compliments for your coat from a member of staff already? Yeah, <laughs> I think they think I work here. Oh. <laughs> I didn't put it on on purpose. I never, Are you sure? I never even did it. I thought, to be <laughs> Let's carry on. We've got some small scenes here. Turn your information as well. Make our way through. After killing the Aztec Emperor Moctezuma and defeating the Aztec people, I returned to Spain in 1500. I loaded my galleons with cocoa beans and chocolate drink as I was convinced that this drink would delight my contemporaries in Spain. All these nice windows and archways around here. Another little scene over here too. Just as I suspected, my fellow countrymen absolutely adore the taste of chocolate. Just look around, everyone is drinking it. Is this the same recipe originally enjoyed by the Aztecs? We have changed the recipe by replacing the chili pepper and by adding other spices. Cinnamon, nutmeg and by adding sugar. These wonderful facades continue all the way around here as well. Yeah, it's very interesting. Lots of facts at the start. What have we got going on just over here? So old pottery to do with the, the history of it. Cadbury's cocoa. And yeah, that's what that whole first section's about. The cocoa, beans, and kind of getting them all together that go into the chocolate and produce the chocolate. St. James's London. This is white chocolate That's very nicely themed in here. And of course, you've got the Christmas tree. Looks really nice. Proper street in here, got all the cobbles as well down the middle. Baker, Bull Street, Birmingham. <laughs> Our family are staunch Quakers. That's Mr. Cabri himself. Father moved the family to Birmingham from our home in Exeter in 1794 and set up his business as a linen draper and silk writer. Birmingham was a fine place to live, with plenty of business opportunities. We soon made many friends, and my father became a prominent member of the local Quaker community, where I set up my business in 1824 to trade tea and coffee. I also sold cocoa nibs. I prepared myself chocolate and coffee beans. These drinks were considered as wholesome alternatives to alcohol, which we as Quakers strongly disapproved. In my spare time, I experimented with preparations of cocoa beans and chocolate, which I could sell in the shop. Soon I had to rent a warehouse in nearby Crooked Lane, where I could manufacture these products on a larger scale. At first, it was very difficult, because I had to pay high taxes on the cocoa beans, and then, on top of all that, I had to move out of Crooked Lane and into another factory here in Bridge. That's when my brother Benjamin John, and together we formed Cadbury Brothers. With more space, we could now prepare a cocoa powder and an eating chocolate that could be packed and sold. Soon after, my eldest son, Richard, joined the company. Having Richard with us made all the difference. He saw to it that the quality of our cocoa improved, introduced new products, and even opened a shop in London. Our efforts were rewarded when we received our first royal warrant from Queen Victoria. That was when my younger son, George, joined us. 
George introduced many benefits for the workforce, such as half-day holidays, a sick club, and many improvements in the factory. And Richard, your new designs for our packaging were a huge success. Well, we had to try something different, just to get ourselves recognized, Father, as we were still a small company. Our aim was to manufacture only the highest quality cocoa and chocolate. I know, and I could tell you some stories of less scrupulous producers who added brick dust to their cocoa. Ours was still gritty, but we only added sugar to take away the bitter taste and starch to absorb the fat. However, George had heard of a new kind of cocoa press. He went to Holland in 1866, saw the press being used and brought one back. The Van Houten Press. Oh yes, Father. You see, because we could extract more of the cocoa butter, there was no need for more additives. Not only was our, our cocoa essence more palatable, but also output increased. The Bridge Street factory was now too small to cope, and we had to expand somewhere else. For some time, George and I had shared the same vision to build our new factory in a garden setting, away from the smoke and grime of the city. We called our new factory Bourneville. We opened our new factory in 1879, and were faced with many more challenges as the size of our workforce increased. As the company prospered, we introduced bonuses, such as payment for output and punctuality, a five and a half day week, pension schemes, works committees, training, and many other benefits. I sent my son George to Switzerland to find out how chocolate was made using fresh milk. Soon after, Cadbury were able to manufacture chocolate with a much higher milk content that rivaled even the best Swiss products. That was when we launched our most important new brand. We called it Cadbury's Dairy Milk. It became so popular with its distinctive taste that sales exceeded all our best expectations. And within a short while, it had become our best-selling chocolate. In 1919, we merged with Fry, and the company went from strength to strength. And so we have seen that big things have their roots in the smallest beginnings. Kind yeah. of a bit of a bounce there. Oh. Shaking side to side. hitting them with breaker The shell is then blown away. The mum's having a good time. And the remaining pieces of beef for further processing. And the rest of the liquor is pressed to extract the cocoa butter. The refined cocoa butter is now taken to Bourneville, where we will catch up with it later. Meanwhile, the cocoa liquor that has been taken to Marlbrook is pumped into storage tanks, ready to be turned into chocolate crumb. Over 150 tons of sugar and 500,000 litres of fresh full cream milk are delivered to Marlbrook every day to be used in this process. The crumb is now taken to Bourneville in tankers, where it is ground and mixed into a paste with this, the cocoa butter, which came from Chirk earlier. The paste is then refined into a flake before being conched or mixed for a liquid chocolate. So we've just been through the two different cinema rooms there. Did you enjoy that? <laughs> yeah, it was a good concert. Yeah, it was fun, eh? Yeah. I didn't expect that. <laughs> well, it started shaking, you got me, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Thought you were going on a major ride. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were quite good fun, that. And yeah, quite a lot of information in them two rooms as well. Yeah, it's really interesting. And yeah, that first theatre room that we went in was the history of Cadbury and how they expanded and joined up with fries. And then also, the second room was the production of chocolate and yeah, how it moves between the factories and of course ends up down here in Bourneville. And yeah, this is what, you, when we first came, you saw a lot of this actually happening through the windows and that kind of got took away. I just think there's less production done here now than there used to be. But yeah, I always remember that first visit when you actually saw a lot of that stuff happening in the factory, didn't it was you? You know, great. What, wasn't it seen all get packaged and everything it really made it yeah you had like the robo arms that were packing things up and moving them along and that sort of it's stuff so cool to see it yeah i think there's still maybe a little bit of that but there used to be a lot more and yeah what's this do just over here you can choose like what you want to see i want to see the cream eggs but it keeps disappearing so i'll just go on to east <laughs> oh it just tells you each thing how they're made put together and yeah you got quite a few different exhibits just in here as well to see 
So we're making our way upstairs now towards Cadabra, a magical Cadbury journey. And yeah, that's the dark ride that they've got here, and it's actually really good. Uh, so we're going to make our way up there and experience that next. Heading up the stairs just here. Some old Cadbury vehicles just there as well. Bull Street 1830s, what can we see out the window? Oh, the outdoor area. Yeah, what's that over there? So that's the 4D chocolate adventure. It's like a 4D cinema film yeah. we'll be watching. And then also you've got a play area out there and some other bits. But yeah, now of course Merlin operate this attraction. It wouldn't surprise me if we see some more expansion out here in the future. I mean, look at all that car park space over there. They could maybe use some of that um, for further expansion uh, because there's quite a lot of room just out there as well. And maybe now there's not as much production here in Bourneville as there used to be. There's more space for new additions, and we have actually heard that a new ride is under construction at the moment, but I'll talk more about that later in the vlog. Oh, and because the section's closed downstairs, they've actually gave us four more chocolates just here, four twirls just there. <laughs> you wouldn't normally get any up here, but yeah, because they're shut downstairs, we've got them, quite nice. Yeah, you got your purple coat, your purple bag, <laughs> purple walls and a nice purple decorated Christmas tree. Into the time tunnel just here now, a timeline of events. The Cadbury Dairy Milk just up there. The Dairy Milk story. Love Dairy Milk, it is my favourite. Really nice. 1905 to 2005, yeah, when they celebrated the centenary, 100 years. Yeah, all your information down here at the sides. And yeah, we've got the dark ride coming up once we head down this way. Scylla becomes the television face of Cadbury. Yeah, they've had a lot of adverts over the years. I think the main advertising area is closed at the moment. Um, used to go through where the gorilla was and a few other bits. Yeah, it's all closed, like the Purple Planet area is all closed. But that should be open again in the future. And yeah, lots of changes coming up. So we've got a tempering machine just over here, used between 1920 and 1950. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. It does smell quite good, that chocolate. And yeah, here's a look at the information board, telling you all about just that. Yeah, tempering is the final and crucial stage in the production of chocolate. And yeah, it's basically all being mixed together, as we can see just there from the machinery. More information about Bourneville itself, of course, where the factory is located has expanded over the years. Yeah, the first time we came to Cabaret World, many years ago now, um, none of these walls were here, and this would actually be the part where you'd see the factory itself, and we used to love that, didn't we? It was so good, like seeing all the workers doing their thing would be brilliant. Yeah, I'd actually like to see them maybe recreate that. I know they can't really show the real thing anymore because a lot of it's machinery now, and um, yeah, a lot of the production isn't really done here in Bourneville now, but I think they could kind of recreate that um, in the future, and that'd be really nice to see. Maybe a couple of animatronics even showing yeah, that, you know? having like chocolate and then you've got animatronics doing it and it just replaces that aspect of what we're missing. Yeah, because that'd be really nice because at the end of the day people come and want to see more of the factory itself and it just seemed like I say they've turned it more into, I don't want to say a theme park, but more of a themed experience with more rides and that sort of thing. Definitely. You know, which, yeah, like, I'm happy to see them do that but I think also they should still try and replicate the factory and show that more because all this, you know, you should see the actual production, people who were doing the daily job and it wasn't just put on for the tour, they were genuinely making the chocolate and it was really good you saw it all being packaged up and, and everything but yeah now it's been replaced by this little exhibition Cadbury Angels at work a lot of the construction workers all coming in to do their jobs look at this crazy thing it's mostly machines now that do this but yeah look at all the workers there all in a row and yeah this is actually where we started the vlog Right outside there, we were stood on that pathway with this part of the factory in the background. And yeah, we kind of walked all around this way from the train station to get down here. Yeah, we started the vlog just over here. Yeah, all the factory and Bourneville itself was built around the factory as well. All the housing, residential areas, a lot of recreation activities for all the staff and their families as well. Which is really nice. Yeah, good display though, still in here. I think the last time we came, there was nothing in this corridor, so at least they have done a display. I mean, this could have been here for five or six years for all we know, but, <laughs> but yeah, at least there is something now. This was literally an empty space last time we came. What have we got then just over here? This is the old clock and on machine. You have your card in the slots there, put it in there, press that down, stamp your card, and then at the dinner time, you move that, clock 
clock out again. Oh yeah, so do it like at lunchtime. Yeah, do it four times a day. And like at the end of the day. We used to have one where I used to work. Look at that, this is proper old school, isn't it? Like, is there anywhere that's still like that now, I wonder? I mean, I doubt <laughs> it. Probably somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where. Maybe actually. some old factories. Fox, Fox's Biscuits used to be like that. So yeah, it did, yeah. Years ago when I worked there, then we used to have one like that. God, yeah. I bet it's not like that now. But yeah, God, that's crazy. You actually look at the time and then it'll yeah. stamp a like, print an actual time on your sheet just there. God, look at that. Oh, it smells nice in here. Here we have some more old pictures. You know me, I love a good archive of photos and pictures. And yeah, that's really good. All the old packaging for dairy milk is just up there as well. Have a go at tempering. So yeah, the process that we saw on that machine. Oh, look at all this. Hello. We do some drawing. Chocolate. Oh, okay. fantastic. Okay. Whatever you like. Oh. And then take some photos. There we go. Okay. Enjoy, guys. Oh, I can't get it out. There we go. Right, give it a tap. Little That's bump. it. Just tap the end. I think we'll do a. I bet you can guess already what I'm doing here, can't you, viewers? With it being a T. There we go, lovely. P. There we go. Good, thank you. There we go, we've got a TPW for Theme Park Worldwide just there. What are you doing there, Dad? I'm doing the sea, the sunset. Oh, you're doing a proper, a proper picture. <laughs> oh, that's looking quite good. Very creative. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> What's this boat? A palm tree, is it? At the that, top? That's the sun. Man. Oh, that's the sun, right. Yeah. And you've got to do the reflection in the water. Yeah. <laughs> Very creative, I love that. Oh, there we go. Oh, and there's a look at Mum's just there. Where's the E on the end? Oh, yeah. I forgot the E. You can't, how can you forget the E? Oh, yeah, how did I forget the E? That's it. There we go. You like when I'm on the phone to places and I have to spell it out, I always forget the E. <laughs> That's quite nice. Oh, Charlotte's is very oh, creative. Nice, it's so long. Oh, look at this, wow. that's a big one. So it actually went only to T because the E, I lost it at the end. But I've got like the little hearts. That's stuff. really good, that. that. Nice. I don't remember this last time we came. Oh, yeah, this is quite a nice little feature. Well done, guys, the chocolate ice. There we go. Spread out the chocolate. Spreading the warm chocolate over the marble. That will bring the temperature down. And then we need both of the chalks together. So you use your fish tail to push and scrape off. Yeah, oh, there you go. That's how they used to do it. Yeah. Fantastic. So that is a lovely shine on there still. So that's still able to be used. You can mould it, but it would make it quite difficult. I really like the interactive areas there. You've got two different parts where you can join in. I think the one where you're doing your name is fantastic, and you can take photos and videos of it. Uh, and then also the tempering as well, how they used to uh, kind of mix the chocolate back in the day. Yeah, I thought it was really good. I think it's nice how you can get hands-on with an experience like that. Another nice Christmas tree just over here. And yeah, some more posters on the wall. Bourneville Factory Facts just here now. Yeah, there's a look out at the factory again. That's where we walked in just down there. And yeah, I wonder how much of this factory is still used for things now. A lot of it does look empty. And yeah, I remember this was all the production area when we first came. Yeah, lots of factory facts. Cream eggs, my favourite. We'll be back in before we know it. Chocolate buttons down there. I do love Cadbury. They make the best chocolate, don't they? So good. Yeah, of course, if you're familiar with Hershey Park over in Pennsylvania in the USA, they've got a full theme park all based around the chocolate factory. So it does make me think, you know, Merlin trying to go a bit more down that route. I'm not expecting there to be like 10 coasters built here or anything, but it does seem like they want to put more rides in here and make it more of a theme park-esque experience um, instead of it being the factory tour that it's always been known for. So yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens. But yeah, you can see a nice video just up there as well. Three minute video telling you all about the factory itself. If you do want photos, they've also got a green screen photo op just here where you can have a Cadbury's Flake bath just over there. And now we're making our way on to what, in our opinion, is the highlight of Cadbury World. It's Cadabra, the dark ride just down here. So we're gonna go and experience that now. Mm. Yeah, this was all the production area when we first came. Yeah, you used to walk around and see all the machinery around here. Oh, look at these, these are like just like when we were younger, Alan. Look at this dairy milk here. 5p as well, about there. Then. You can win 100 cars, look, Avengers here. Yeah. yeah. About 60 years ago, like. 
No, not that. Yeah. <laughs> the picnic parson. Oh, these dipped flakes, they used to be lovely. Look, two and a half P. Yeah. Half right a P. There. They used to be like a flake inside and then chocolate on top. Oh, and that crunch. They were <laughs> lovely. Really nice. We're going to head down this way and we'll go and get on the ride now. There we got the little chocolate bean man just there. And here it is, Kadabra, a magical journey. Let's go. Hey, 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 and here we go. If you look carefully at the pages ahead of you, they will help you enjoy the Kadabra magic. Chocolate beans. More chocolate, please. There we are. Hey, family day out to Cadbury World. Flake there, Mr. Bunny Rabbit. It looks like he's loving that. Oh, here they are, Charlotte. That's so sweet. Yeah, this ride the shop. <laughs> has been here for many years. It's a classic. I hope Merlin don't really change this. <laughs> On to Beanville. I feel like they've updated some of the lighting actually since last time we visited. A little bean family down there. Air balloons up there. There's me and Charlotte trying to ice skate. Yeah. <laughs> Not very well. <laughs> It's got a lot of charm about it. This it reminds me of like a Europa Park dog ride in a really strange way. It's got a lot of charm about it. A little ski lift. And we're sat in our little car ride vehicle as well. They can seat four people. Cadavra, it's a lovely dark ride that, isn't it? It is so cute, there is so much going on. I really hope they never change it, just keep it as it is. It's a nostalgia of that ride, it's the music, it's the ride system, it's very colourful, all the chocolate beans go through various different scenes, it's just really nicely done, I've always loved that ride. And uh, yeah, I don't want it updating at all, it should stay in its nostalgic state that it currently is. Uh, but actually it looks really nice, that ride, uh, they look after it here at Cadbury World. And so uh, yeah, we have heard that apparently they're working on a new dark ride that's going to be coming in addition to Kadabra at 
at some point in the near future. So how exciting is that? That is so exciting. Like updating the tech, which is keep Cadabra as it is. Yeah, definitely. So it'll be another addition. We've also heard it could be a trackless star ride coming in. Um, so yeah, really excited to see that. And uh, potentially it could be opening next year as well. So of course here at Theme Park Worldwide, we'll bring you all the latest news. And yeah, we look forward to coming down and getting on that new dark ride. And when it opens here at Cabby World. Did you enjoy your ride there on Cadabra? Yeah, lovely. At least it didn't take me upside down this time. Uh, <laughs> it's a nice little ride though, that. We're going into the chocolate making area just here now. So we're going to make our way through into this section. It smells really good down here as well. Look at all this made out of chocolate. How awesome is that? You wouldn't think that was made out of chocolate, would you? All that, amazing. Toad. Toad. What's the little face that he's pulling there? Exactly. <laughs> Do you enjoy the ride there, Dad? Yeah, it's all right. Yes. Good ride? Yeah. <laughs> There's the outdoor area down there, the play area, and also that 4D cinema. So yeah, the fact that we know they're bringing in another ride here, be interesting to see if we see some more rides outside. I mean, imagine like a rocking tug themed around like fudge or cream egg or something like that. Maybe like a teacup ride, some more family additions. I think that'd be really good to see. Maybe even like a small little junior coaster in that outdoor area. Yeah, it'd be really interesting what Merlin have got planned for here in the future. Well, yeah, new dark ride gonna be coming at some point. Hopefully we'll get some sort of official confirmation from them soon with some more details like the theme and the name. But yeah, very excited that they're working on that at the moment. Production area over here too. See, this is what I like seeing, all this kind of production. Yeah, it used to be a lot more of this sort of thing. Yeah, like just seeing them chocolate Christmas trees spinning around. It's nice to see. Love stuff like that. Also, we get another little free sample just here as well, and you get to pick one of the toppings just here as well. Jelly baby, thank you very much. Thank you, see you later. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? This is lovely, this one. Is it? Like a crunchy sort of biscuit stuff. Yeah, really nice. I've gone for the white chocolate buttons and also the fudge down there as well. Yeah, lots of samples today, it's great. Very nice. Oh, that was delicious, really enjoyed that. And yeah, here's a look at this lady making this big Christmas tree here. Wow, that'll be really impressive. I wonder if it all kind of slots together or yeah, different parts join onto each other. Yeah, that's awesome. There's the moulds for the Christmas trees, just that. And you can see the finished result just off to the left hand side there as well. And there were some footballs just down in the middle as well. How nice was that, Charlotte? So tasty. Yeah. <laughs> Doing a little demonstration over here as well. It's good how they have the mirror at the top there so you can see what's happening. And he got this big bull just here as well, a replica of the iconic Birmingham bull created by Cabri World. How awesome is that? Must have took a long time. This is quite a cool feature. It looks like the chocolate's leaked out the pipe up the top just there. And then you've got all these lovely handcrafted oh, items. All the Lego men. That's really good. Yeah, all the minifigures down there. Yeah, they've done a good job of that. A little castle just up there as well, the little bean men. Oh. I need to get the bean men when we leave. They're so good. The chuckle beans just down there. Oh, one of my favourites. They're really good, they are. Got some shoes just there. Another fantastic scene here, too. One on a swing down there. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember this cabinet from last time either. There's a few bits that I don't remember, but I guess things have been changing over the past few years here. And yeah, the Merlin kind of takeover only started um, earlier in the year. Um, so yeah, you know, we're going to see a lot of changes coming in, including that new ride. Now we thought this bit was going to be closed today, but now it is open by the looks of it. Advertising Avenue, just down here. All about the different Cadbury adverts over the years. Lots of posters, old packaging. And yeah, it's another really nice display down here to see as well. 
love all the old packaging. And you can tell it's still got the same kind of colours it used to, but it's just being updated the design, hasn't it, over the years? But they've kept that kind of classic Cadbury's font just there. I think the display of this round here is very nice, like all the floors. <laughs> Stained glass window, quite nice. Lovely. I can hear some work going on around here. Building that new ride, I reckon. Tea shop. It ends here. Hey, <laughs> you're a little fruit and okay. Do you remember the advert then, dear? Do. Yeah, yeah, and all the packaging was like that as well. Yeah, yeah I remember that. There you go. Why can't they play all these? Ah, uh, see, so yeah, you'd normally carry straight on down there. So yeah, just a part of this is open. Oh, yeah. construction. There we go. There's this adverts just down here too. And yeah, I reckon on the other side of there, is where that new dark ride's been built. And there we go. That brings us to the end of our experience walking through Cabby World. And yeah, we come here now into the gift shop where you do get some discounts in here as well, like 10 curly whirlies. Only £1.90. There we go, saving... One pound ten. See, so yeah, you got some good discounts. Got the boxes down here as well. Ten fudges, one pound seventy. Oh, mm. I like a finger of fudge. <laughs> I used to do. <laughs> finger oh, fudge God. is just enough to give your kids a treat. Uh, is that the old advert? Is it? Fudge is just enough until it's time to eat. <laughs> it's for the cabbage goodness and very small and neat. A finger of fudge is just enough to give your kids a treat. There you go. What we need to do is record you in that coat and have that playing inside the advertising bit. Just <laughs> oh, Freddo's down there as well. Advent calendars. And yeah, lots of nicely gift wrapped items as well. You get your Cadbury World t-shirts here, 12 99 Tea towels there as well, 4 99 Yeah, these hoodies that are actually embroidered down here as well. I think they look fantastic. Yeah, very nice, 26 99 purple my mum's coat <laughs> and these are the little Christmas trees that we saw being made just inside there as well yeah, I think they're fantastic how nice are those 3 99 you got the chuckle beans just there as well <laughs> oh we do love the beans yeah lots of nice items in here the teapot just there as well jolly holly says on the top I've just seen some of your Christmas trees there, what we saw inside. Yeah, they haven't got the big chuckle beans though. Are they not? Oh, we like the big beans. Yeah, 3 99 for those, then that's pretty good actually. All your different selection boxes over here. I do miss when the chocolates used to be this shape. Do you remember when Dairy Milk was that? Now it's got more of a kind of mould going over the top. Yeah, quite a big shop. That's what you wanted, didn't you, Charlotte, like them? Oh no. That's sad. Mini snowballs there if you want those. Or a finger of fudge as my mum wants. <laughs> oh, he's quite nice. Yeah, I have also got, hey, look, she's got a basket down there. I've also got the little discount area over here as well. A factory shop bulk buying available. There we go, you can buy these. It's like being at Costco, isn't it? <laughs> £23.92 saving, £56, but you're getting eight of the big 850 gram dairy melts. So, yeah, there you go. There is a saving if you buy it in bulk. Toblerones, roses, and many more. Different chocolates. Oh, I like these misshapes down here. £4 for these. I come in the special misshapes bag as well. Yeah, I think they're fantastic. Yeah, pretty good price as well. £4 for those. Hey, oh, what you got there? Embroidered patch. I thought that would just go on your coat, <laughs> wouldn't it? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. It's a slightly different shade of purple, but we'll get away with it. Yeah. Match my finger of fudge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you got in there? There you go. I've got mid finger of fudge. Oh, fantastic. To give the kids a treat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that advert before. But. Yeah, it used to be on an advert when I was younger. And the, I used to love that advert. It shows, though, yeah. that it was a really good piece of advertising. Oh, yeah. All these years later, you still remember the lyrics? Oh, I still remember. Uh, yeah. I, I remember that, yeah. that flake one, that fruit and nut yeah. I remember that yeah. from playing. You yeah. don't remember the finger of fudge? I don't remember that no. one. <laughs> <laughs> right, we'll continue having a little look round, and then we'll see you outside, and we'll wrap up our vlog from Cadbury World. And you've also got the big bars just here as well. These are only seven parts, not too bad at all. Yeah, saving of 2 dollars 
uh, to the RRP. Yeah, not too bad. Mr. Licorice All Sorts over here as well. We'll just have a little look at the cafe next door, show you that, and then we'll head outside and have a look at those areas before we end today's vlog. Now I did just ask if you get annual pass discount in the shop and you do but only on certain things and yeah they can't kind of uh, mix the promotions together. The lady did just say you're probably cheaper just going for their own store discounts than map discounts. The stuff in there was quite a good price to be honest. Yeah so you obviously can't get discount on stuff that's already like a no, discounted rate so that makes sense. Yeah there we go. Big Cadbury shop and also the Cadbury cafe just over there. She's quite nice actually. Get a rollover hot dog over there which I love. Freak shakes just there, four ninety five. You've got some pasties, and yeah, you got a few other hot and cold items available as well. That looks good, doesn't it? I like the big rollover sign. How good's that? Got some sausage rolls down there as well, four pound fifty. Smell good. It does. Quite expensive though. I think I'll get mine from Greg's. <laughs> And you got to think, you've also got three other Merlin attractions within easy reach of here, especially Legoland Discovery Centre in Birmingham City Centre, and also the Sea Life Centre, and it's just around the corner as well. So yeah, they're both in Birmingham itself, and then Warwick Castle, which isn't too far away either. So yeah, they do upgrades, but of course, the Merlin Annual Pass still works out the best deal, really, if you go into all these different attractions. Right, let's go and check out the outside area now. So we're outside then now making our way down to the 4D Chocolate Adventure. So you actually come back out of the main entrance, take a right, then you head down this way to that play area and the 4D cinema. Yeah, you've got a nice vehicle just out here as well. Hashtag taste like this feels. Am I saying that right? Taste like this feels. There, there we go. They're lovely they are. I don't think I've ever had one. You have, you've had that big taste uh, truck, truck sensation because I bought it from Aldi, it was lovely. I don't remember having one of them before. It was really good. There we go, fantastic. Right, <laughs> around this way, Charlotte's uh, got, oh, not Charlotte, my mum's got a big bag. Oh no, you have got it, there you go. I'm holding it. Look at all that. Oh, did she put the flakes in? Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Look at all that. You got all the free stuff and then you've got all the extras as well. And I've got my Merlin discount. Hey. I've got 25% off. Staff so. discount that one into yeah, staff that discount. Was good. So, oh, yeah. Fantastic. Got lots of chocolate. Brill, let's head down this way. Quite a few construction materials just out here as well. Yeah, probably all that's going inside to help build the new rides. Yeah, really excited for that. Yeah, this is what we're heading down to now. Just to show you this area, the 4D Chocolate Adventure, the African Adventure Play Area, and also the Bourneville experience as well. Quite a nice undercover area over here too, and they've actually got these Cadbury cream egg cars at the moment. Imagine driving down the street in one of those. Yeah, they're fantastic. I don't remember seeing these before last time we Can came. Imagine me driving down one of those chicken cream eggs. <laughs> Free cream eggs. Oh, good, aren't they? How nice is that? Cream egg car, little door on the side. Oh, they're fantastic, they are. <laughs> And there's a look at the iconic Cadbury sign up there on the side of the factory here in Bourneville. Yeah, we're going to head now into the Bourneville experience just down here. And here we are inside. So it gives you a lot of information about the town of Bourneville itself. And as I mentioned earlier on in the video, this whole area where the factory is had all the houses built around the outside. And yeah, the Cadbury family really wanted to make sure that it was a full kind of landscaped area. Really nice setting for the factory itself. You can see this wonderful model down here. What can you see? Show you the history of it. Oh yeah, that's quite cool. Mum's trying to get some more chocolates inside there. I can't see her, she's blending in with the door. <laughs> I can't see her, where have you gone? So there's that much purple over it. Oh, she's here. I remember yeah. everyone's a fruit and a napkin. Yeah, we had that earlier on inside. Oh, we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice though, isn't it? Well, I love the display. All the different chocolates. That's to take a photo of you there in your purple coat. There's a mud wall around here, isn't that sure? Is there? Oh, I can't wait to see her. There she is. Sweet delights. <laughs> Oh, look at this, it's beautifully displayed. All the mugs in the glass cabinets. And yeah, I spoke a lot on the channel about my theme park collection and how I'd love to have an even bigger space to showcase it all one day, somewhere that people can visit. This is what I'm kind of envisioning, something like this. All big glass cabinets, lighting. Oh yeah, this is really well done. And yeah, what a mug selection in there. Beautifully displayed. I like the tiered kind of mugs. There's the bean man just That's up there the as well. That's the mug that I wanted. Oh, Cadbury's twirl, that's there. 
the fudge gang just there as well. Finger of fudge. Whisper gold. That's cool. Ah, so that's a similar one to uh, the cream egg one outside. All the little vans. What I love the display. But yeah, this is what I'd love with all my theme park things one day is to have on a display like this. It'd be perfect. Somewhere that you can all come and visit. More items on display in here as well. And yeah, I think this is where you used to be able to see more of the actual factory. I remember looking through some windows here and seeing like the whole packing area just around there as well. I've got a child nostalgia around here. Go on. So my mum and dad, every year, I used to get, did you used to get one of them? Oh yeah, and we used to have that. And little chocolates here, that was on my Christmas list every single year, and mum and dad would buy me one every year. That yeah, and it like dispensed That's down. That's it, yeah, there yeah, was like little mini yeah. chocolates. Are they actually in there? Yeah, they used to come like in a little amazing. packet. Yeah, do you remember them, mum, what we used to have? Them, that red thing there. Oh, and then the chocolate has come down, yeah. yeah. Chocolate machine. Yeah. yeah, I used to buy one then for Christmas. Yeah, how nice is that? I think this display is fantastic in here. It's really nicely detailed, and I like how you can see everything nice and clearly as well. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, it smells lovely out here. You can actually smell the genuine chocolate from the factory all around the side there as well and yeah here's a look at the 4d chocolate adventure so we're going to head into this now no point really filming this with it being a 4d experience uh but yeah we'll talk a little bit about it afterwards and yeah it does get quite busy this sometimes during the busier periods as you can see it's a 40 minute wait from back here obviously it's nice and quiet today with it being a weekday so i'll be straight in but yeah we'll see you afterwards we'll talk about the experience and wrap up the vlog Just a little lift pre-show. A huge roller coaster and a theme park outside here. <laughs> Can you imagine? And now, honestly, like a carousel, a Ferris wheel, maybe even a small coaster would be a great addition to this outdoor area. Wouldn't surprise me if we see something like that in the future. Maybe a few flat rides. We love the beans. So we just come out of the 4D cinema just there. Yeah, it's about a seven, eight minute film. And yeah, it's pretty good that is actually, isn't it? I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, the actual uh, seats that you sit on move around quite a lot on there, don't they? Hello. I thought I'd get that on a coaster that big. Oh, there you go. It feels bit like you were on one, didn't it? It feels a bit like a wooden coaster without it bouncing, doesn't it? I reckon so. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yeah, it doesn't bounce too much though. It's just a nice amount, isn't it, really? And you got all the uh, Cadbury's characters in there as well, like Freddo, the big gorillas in there as well. And yeah, it's just overall a nice fun experience. And yeah, it brings you out in this little exhibit down here at the end as well. But yeah, we're gonna make our way outside now. And of course that brings us to the end of our vlog from Cadbury World, first time back in seven years. Can you imagine though a real coaster running around the outside here? Even like a little Vacoma Junior coaster or something like that. Maybe with like brown supports and a purple track. It'd look great all around the edge here. And like I said, I'm not expecting it to turn into the UK's version of Hershey Park anytime soon. However, it wouldn't surprise me if we see some investment out here. A Ferris wheel, a carousel, maybe a little train ride uh, would be great out here. Teacups, a rocking tug. I just think, you know, there's a lot of space out here that could be utilized for something a bit more permanent. So yeah, I look forward to seeing what happens in the future. I'm back out here, out at the front now to bring us to the end of our visit to Cadbury World. Have you both enjoyed it? I yeah. thought it was really, really good. Better than what I was expecting, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. there's quite a lot yeah. to see there, isn't there? Oh, the race, yeah. And I've been on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> <laughs> I like the little bean dart ride, I like though. I them sort because they're not real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, you enjoyed the, the dart ride, didn't you, Cadabra? Yeah, yeah, it 
was good. Yeah, and you brought some yeah, chocolate. Yeah, free chocolate. It's and we've got, got some lots chocolate we bought as well. Oh, we? fantastic. Yeah, ready for Christmas. Lovely. Well, we're having a full day in Birmingham, aren't we, today? We're doing the Christmas markets tonight. Yeah, we're yeah. going there next, got aren't we? Yeah. 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 We've got to have a nice big hot dog, I yeah. yeah, bratwurst yeah. sausage. Bratwurst. Hey, yeah, well, that <laughs> vlog's coming up over on the Sandbrook Adventures in a few days, our second channel. So you'll see my wonderful parents over there as well, Mel and Ellen. Yeah, hey. Lovely. <laughs> well, yeah, if you are coming, don't forget to come out and check out this bit. It's not actually that well signposted. Yeah, when you come out, take a right, and it's well worth heading down to that area just there. Oh, it's always great taking my parents to different attractions, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing them too. Have you had a good time? I have really enjoyed it, and I've really enjoyed getting back on Cadabra. It's such a cute little ride, I love it. Oh, it is a nice ride, and yeah, I will be sad if that gets taken out. Actually, from speaking to a few staff today, there's rumours that might be coming out no. when the new ride opens. We'd originally heard that they were going to keep both, so I'd be really sad to see Cadabra go. It's a childhood classic, we really like it, it's well themed, and uh, yeah, I just hope they keep that as well, really. But still, that's the big exciting thing a new dark ride coming into Cadbury World. That is what is needed so much, just a nice refresh of this place. Yeah, definitely. And yeah, there's some of the other areas that really could do with some work as well. However, I have enjoyed it more this time than our previous visit. I thought the area where you could write out your name in chocolate was really good. I ran out of room with putting the little <laughs> last bit on mine. It was massive, the <laughs> one you did. Uh, I would like to see some more of the factory, even if it's a bit of a recreation of some of the production. I think that'd be nice, replacing some of the pictures and screens. I think it'd be great to use animatronics and actual props and set pieces to recreate that however um, what they've done in there is still really good it's worth coming down we've been here a couple of hours and i think over the next few years it's probably only going to get better now with merlin's investment uh, we're probably going to see more rise and attractions here and just updating the different experiences as well which i'm uh, looking forward to and we got plenty of chocolate today as I well i was surprised we got quite a lot of chocolate today which was great and yeah and there wasn't as much closed as we thought there was yeah. going to be actually you know we've been here a couple of hours and yeah it's been really good if you've got a merlin pass it's something great that you can do over winter of course, we've got lots more coming up over the festive season here on this channel and also over on the Sandbrook Adventures. And like we mentioned just, we're heading to the Christmas markets tonight and that vlog will be coming up over on our second channel. So we'd love to see you there. But here from Cadbury World, that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out, out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. See you in the next video.